بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ویلکم ایوری ون نو لیٹ اس اسٹارٹ دا ٹاپک وٹ از دا ریلیشن شپ بٹوین کے پی اینڈ کے سی سپوز دیر از اے ری ایکشن ان وچ اے مولز آف اے گیس ری ایکٹ ود بی مولز آف دا بی گیس ٹو فارم سی مولز آف دا سی گیس اینڈ ڈی مولز آف دا ڈی گیس ان اے ریورسیبل مینر so this is a reaction which is a gas phase reaction in which all the reactants and products they are present in their gaseous form now what is kc k is for equilibrium constant and c means in terms of concentration so kc is the equilibrium constant in terms of concentration which can be written as the concentration of c raised to power c concentration of d raised to power d similarly divided by concentration of a raised to power a and concentration of b raised to power b in the same way k p is the equilibrium constant in terms of the partial pressure which can be written as the partial pressure of c raised to power c partial pressure of d raised to power d divided by partial pressure of a raised to power a and partial pressure of b raised to power b mean kc is in terms of concentration and if you replace the concentrations with the partial pressure of the gases then the equilibrium constant is represented with the symbol kp now in order to derive a relation between kp and kc as we know according to the general gas equation pv is equal to nrt now dividing n with v p is equal to n by v into rt and as you know get the ratio between the number of moles and volume that is called as the molar concentration which is represented with the symbol c so p is equal to c into rt now replace the values of the pressure here in the kp so kp will become concentration of c into rt raised to power c simply you are going to put the value of pressure which is c into rt in this equation similarly in at the place of partial pressure of d raised to power d you will put concentration of d into rt raised to power d similarly the partial pressure of a will be replaced with the concentration of a rt raised to power a and partial pressure of b will be replaced with concentration of b rt raised to power b now the rt will become the common factor so kp is equal to concentration of c raised to power c d raised to power d a raised to power a and b raised to power b rt the common power will be c plus d divided by rt and the common power will be a plus b now <clears throat> this ratio of the concentrations that is exactly equal to the kc so replacing here kc rt again it will become a common factor and c plus d minus so this power that will become a plus b so kp is equal to kc rt c plus d actually c plus d that is the sum of the number of moles of the products and a plus b is the sum of the number of moles of the reactants so c plus d is the number of moles of products minus a plus b is the number of mole of reactants and the difference of the number of moles of products and reactants that will be shown with the delta n hence kp will be equal to kc raised to power delta n now it is very important to note down that the relative magnitude of kp and kc they simply depend upon the value of the delta n if the number of moles of the products and reactants they are same then delta n will be equal to 0 and when you will put the value 0 here then it means kp will be exactly equal to the kc but if the number of moles of products are greater than reactants then the value of this delta n will be positive and in that particular case in that particular reaction kp will also be greater than the kc but if the number of moles of products are lesser than number of moles of reactants then the value of this delta n will be negative and in this particular case the kp that will be less than kc so it depends upon the nature of the reaction it depends upon the relative number of moles of reactants and products whether kp will be greater than kc or less than kc or both the equilibrium constant will be equal now what are the units of the kp the units of kp are actually pressure raised to power np minus nr now the particular unit of the kp 
or the specific unit of the KP, they will depend upon the specific units of the pressure which will be used. So KP is equal to, you can also write it down as KP is equal to P raised to power delta M because NP minus NR is actually delta M. So suppose that if you are calculating the pressure in ATM, then just replace the units here. So KP will be equal to ATM raised to power delta M. But if you are measuring the pressure in bars, then the unit of the Kp will be bar raised to power delta n. Simply delta n is the power of the units of the pressure which is actually the difference between the number of moles of products and number of moles of the reactants. If you are measuring the pressure in system international unit Newton per meter square, then the units of Kp will be Newton per meter square raised to power delta n. So in this way, the specific unit of the Kp, they actually depend on the units of the pressure that you use simply use that specific unit of the pressure and give the power equal to the delta n which is the difference of the number of moles of products and number of moles of the reactants so this was all about from the relationship between kp and kc take care allah first